Hello Cancer, welcome to my channel, Victoria here at Radiant Moon Tarot. This is your May 2022 singles reading. If you are single and looking for new love, then this is the reading for you guys. If you're new to my channel, hello, welcome to you. If you're returning, welcome back. Always grateful for each and every one of you. Let's see what we've got coming out for you guys in the month of May. Of course, if you are not already aware, May is a very, very powerful month. A lot of changes in the horizon here. A lot of emotions coming to the surface as well. We start the beginning of the month with a new moon in Taurus and you know new moons great new beginnings new new ways of thinking uh, a breath of fresh air okay all of that wonderful stuff in uh, Taurus energy we're looking at usually our foundations uh, where we feel safe secure stable and if you were if we're not where we want to be right now then we're looking to see if we can do something a little bit different um, but the new moon in Taurus is also a partial solar eclipse. Whenever we have eclipses, this amplifies that moon energy multi multiple times, usually at least three times. Okay, we also have a very positive aspect with Uranus, which is the planet of rebellion and also quick change. So it's like the universe has its pedal to the metal to bring us all brand new kind of energy. All right, but we also have very intense energy here as well especially as we get to the middle of the month because we do have a full moon in Scorpio. Full moons are about completions, wrapping things up, making decisions, getting clarity, dealing with hidden emotions. Okay, all these things may come up to the surface. And of course, it's a total lunar eclipse as well. So it's very, very intense energy all throughout May. Okay, very exciting at the same time. Okay, but so just find ways to hang on to your hat, embrace the changes that are going on internally and externally and be ready for some new energy and new opportunities. We have past life relationship coming in here for you. You have known each other before. All right, so some of you may have uh, somebody that comes back from the past out of this lifetime. Uh, this could be a missed connection for you. It could be someone that maybe you had a couple of dates with a little while ago and meh, it kind of fizzled out, didn't go anywhere. You never know. Maybe revives, gets revived a little bit. Eclipses do bring about surprises, all right? So expect the unexpected. But past life relationship can also mean an actual past life. You may click, you may connect with somebody you may have already, and, you know, the connection there is a little bit unexplainable. And it's like you you just have this attraction to this person or on the very beginning, an aversion to this person. Sometimes that happens too. And once you get past your initial kind of, uh, then, uh, you know, things settle down a little bit and you're like, oh, okay, I actually do kind of like you. Um, but it's something very strong there for you. Okay, so very exciting. We also have retreat. It's time to disconnect from the world. Um, now, here's the thing, Cancer. You know, we do have very intense energy that is coming in, especially with that lunar eclipse. And you may have some emotions that come up to the surface. And this can just uh, bring about old feelings, okay, things that you thought you dealt with and perhaps maybe it just, you know, uh, put under the rug as humans tend to do. All right, so this may be a real time for you to uh, maybe probably towards the middle of the month, you might be feeling tired and drained, okay, and you might just want to uh, take a step back just a little bit just to kind of process some emotions. Even if you get uh, like a major epiphany, all right, that you could still want to just retreat from the world for a couple minutes, but don't stay in there too, too long, okay? We want you to embrace all the wonderful energy that's coming out. But retreat can also represent Perhaps you need a vacation, you need some time off. And you know what? When Whenever we do take um, a bit of time to ourselves, we go and we have some fun or maybe you just uh, go out and, uh, you know, maybe you take a solitary vacation and you just never know who you might meet on your little journey. All right, we've got playfulness here as well. To recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. Get out, have some fun, try new things, get out of your comfort zone. Okay, it is now time to spring into action and to spring into life here, Cancer. All right, and last but not least here, we have stay optimistic about your love life, positive thinking, and faith will bring you romance. Yes, it will. We get we get tired. We get frustrated. Uh, we want to rail at the fates for not bringing us of the love of our life. And sometimes we just need to embrace life. We need to stay optimistic. We need to, when we find ourselves getting frustrated 
or impatient, we need to take that step back. We need to process those emotions and then um, and then replace those energies with something a little bit more positive, okay? Because perfection takes time here, Cancer, okay? And, you know, the love of your life, it's all about timing on your end, but also the other person's end as well. Do you really want a, a big connection with somebody who isn't ready or who still has baggage that they're dealing with? No, man, we want them to be free and clear. So let's see what energies are coming out. I'm going to pull your overall energy for your month first, and then we'll get some more details. So we have the High Priestess coming in here. So you could certainly have a deep spiritual connection coming in here with somebody, okay? But your intuition is also trying to show you something. High Priestess is uh, very connected with the moon energy. So this is about you opening up, okay? But it's also something may be revealed to you through the month, okay? This can certainly be some sort of revelation that comes from within you. You're getting an epiphany. You're getting a big moment of clarity, okay, or you're just getting something that comes up um, from beneath the surface that you need to address, that you need to process. Um, but the High Priestess being the keeper of secrets and mysteries, there may also be some surprises headed your way, okay, and eclipses do bring surprises. Think of it as the universal, uh, the, the wild card of the universe, okay? It's like, I'm going to throw my wild eight on the table, and what does that mean, right? So you could certainly, uh, you could certainly have something a little bit shocking, uh, a little bit uh, revealing feeling headed your way, okay? But you might also be revealing your feelings to yourself, right? Your your wants, your desires, your needs, and getting things on track there. But the high priestess is uh, an energy of being very in control of your emotions and also very connected with the universe being open and, you know, um, but it is one of intuition. So your intuition is certainly guiding you in a certain direction. So let's make sure that we trust that. All right, we also have the moon coming out here. Now, this is coming out in your challenge position, okay? So there could certainly be some challenging emotions that do come up to the surface through the month ahead. You are not the only one, okay? So just take steps to protect your energy, to ground yourself, engage in some high vibe activities, especially with the high priestess here. You may really benefit from some meditation, um, cord cutting meditations, okay, chakra meditations, whatever that is, okay, but certainly something to connect with your higher self there. Your intuition through the month is at an all time high here, Cancer, okay, but you may be ignoring it a little bit. Sometimes we do ignore our intuition, that's the human side coming out, and we know what we need to do. Our instincts are guiding us in a certain direction. We feel this universal kind of push pull tug. Okay, guiding us a certain way, but then we resist it. We put on the brakes a little bit, and sometimes it comes out of fear. Sometimes it comes out of mm, you know, a little bit of uncertainty, okay, lack of confidence, or just second guessing ourselves. So trust that intuition of yours. But the moon can also um, bring about some fears, oh, some underlying fears uh, from, uh, you know, from your subconscious. Okay. The moon is really all about illumination of the subconscious, getting things out in the open. And so your challenge may actually be to get yourself out in the open, to face your fears, understand why you're afraid of making connections or trying new things or getting out of your comfort zone or inviting love. Okay. And we all have something that we're afraid of here. And cancer, okay, and so uh, so there may be something that's a little bit of a resistance there, okay. Now, this uh, is certainly your energy as well with the, um, actually, it's not with the moon card, but uh, you are very much, very much connected with the moon on multiple levels here, cancer, okay. So you could just be feeling very, very emotional through the month ahead, okay? And especially, like I said earlier, especially in that full moon in uh, Scorpio. So um, just take it uh, take it a little easy, and that's where you may want to kind of retreat from the world a little bit, but don't stay there, okay? Don't stay there, all right? But there may also be surprises coming up, okay? Something is revealed. The moon, the moon energy brings surprises, okay? The uh, high priestess can be some secrets that's revealed. Perhaps you have a secret admirer or maybe you secretly uh, secretly have a crush on somebody else, okay? And we've got all of these deep um, emotions coming to the surface. All right, now you could, of course, also have a spiritual connection with somebody. And initially, this could create a bit of a challenge for you because sometimes the... Um, Sometimes the chemistry, the emotions, um, the connection is so powerful that it's frightening, okay? It's, you know, great in the end, okay? But initially it's kind of, whoa, this is scary, okay? I don't know why I'm, I don't know why I'm feeling this way. That's why sometimes when we meet 
um, a twin flame, uh, a soulmate, okay, or, you know, even just like love, right? Sometimes, why sometimes it feels uh, uh, scary or we have an aversion to someone when we first meet them. It's really just because that energy is so powerful. So let's get your advice from spirit. Thank you. We have the sun. Stay positive, stay optimistic, okay? This is a time of growth, of happiness, of joy for you. Focus on what you want out of love, okay? Focus on what you want to attract in here. And, you know, when we do keep that focus, okay, we attract more. We're, wherever, wherever our, okay, we attract things into our life that match our vibration. So the Spirit's really wanting you here to keep your vibe high, to go out and have fun. Uh, this is a time of enlightenment, of growth for you, of getting out and enjoying yourself, enjoying the present moment. And when we laugh and we have fun and we play all with this sun energy, okay, that's what we attract more of, right? Like a moth to a flame, okay? This is also a time to replace fear with joy, okay? Something is being illuminated for you in the month ahead here, all right? But spirit really does want you to remain optimistic. And you know, the sun card is the happiest energy in the entire tarot, and it doesn't matter where it comes out in your reading. It is always a positive sign, okay? Especially in the upright, okay? In the reverse, eh, a little bit different, but uh, it is in the upright, and that is your advice there, okay? This is a time of growth, of laughter, of joy, of fun, of optimism, of positivity in your life. Embrace it. Let's see what blessings are headed your way in the month ahead. Thank you very much. And we've got the hanged man coming in here. Now, the hanged man can certainly represent, uh, you know, that. Thank you. Okay. Patience is a virtue. Okay. So part of your blessing in the month ahead is to be open, be ready, and be patient. The hanged man also brings a release, a surrender, a sacrifice. Okay. Surrendering any old worries, old fears, old doubts, old challenging emotions, old fears, all of that kind of thing, releasing those, surrendering them to the universe so that you're free, so that you're free and clear and you're open and receptive. All right. The hanged man brings in patience for you as well. So if you're feeling a little bit impatient, that hanged man energy kind of calms you down a little bit. But most importantly, the hanged man there's something that you're maybe going to gain a little bit of clarity or perspective on in the month ahead, okay? And it's like, ah, I see things clearly now, okay? Now I kind of, I get the big picture. The hangman brings in the big picture. The ability to, number one, be open to all kinds of connections and possibilities in your world, okay? But it's also that perspective, seeing things from other people's point of view, Okay, we also, we see the potential in things when we get the hanged man energy as well, right? It's like we might not have everything that we want in this particular moment in time, but we see the potential. We see the world in a different light, okay, when we get that. So the hanged man, I mean, not a lot of people like the hanged man, okay, because it's really not one of outward movement, right? But as a blessing coming in, you have an epiphany moment, ultimate clarity, different perception. Okay, you're open, you're surrendering, you're sacrificing all of any kind of challenging blockages, okay, removing blockages, all of these things. It's all really about your inner workings here. And this really does open up new doors for you, okay? It helps you see your way forward with clarity. So let's get some more information uh, for the energy coming towards you. Let's see what other energy is coming towards you. Thank you. We've got the Queen of Wands, the Page of Swords, and we also have the King of Cups. Well, ooh la la. Okay, King of Cups, wonderful. All right, but we'll start with the Queen of Sword, of Queen of Wands. Now, the Queen of Wands can certainly be your energy. Okay, standing tall, standing proud. Okay, being uniquely you. Okay, good. And getting yourself out there and being confident. Okay, you're motivated. You've got some really wonderful energy. And you've got this power of positivity. The Queen of Wands can also represent a person that has influence for you. It can even possibly be a new person coming in here. Someone who's in touch with their feminine side. They're not afraid to show some emotion, but someone who is honest and someone who kind of likes to have some fun, but they are confident in their own right. All right. Uh, they're also mature. The, the queens do tend to be mature. Okay. Um, so you could certainly have uh, a wonderful fiery personality coming in here. What does fire and water make? A little bit of steam. Okay. And actually the water with the moon and the fire of the sun. Oh, 
also steam. Hmm, interesting. That's exciting. So but the Queen of Wands does bring in an energy of excitement. Now, this can also be a friend, okay, who has influence, uh, influence uh, in some way in your life in the week ahead or in the month ahead, I should say. Now, this could be um, perhaps you're considering going on a vacation, maybe with the sun to a tropical destination, okay, with, uh, with a friend, okay, just a couple single people. Uh, queen of Wands, queens can be male or female energy. It can be a male in touch with their feminine side, okay, but uh, perhaps you and a friend go out and you have some fun. Uh, you try something new, Page of Swords, and you end up falling in love with somebody with the King of Cups. All right, but the Page of Swords can also represent new beginnings, new ideas, new, uh, all of this new energy coming in. It can certainly represent uh, new communication, okay, some news coming in, invitations, offers, all right, but it can also just be the Page of Swords is a very curious kind of energy, all right, willing to try new things, okay, meet new people, have new experiences, all about the new, right, and is very excited. The Page is always, always uh, excited, okay. So you can certainly have all of that new energy coming in here. And of course, King of Cups. Yes, some of you could potentially meet the love of your life. All right. The King of Cups is somebody who is very mature, uh, very diplomatic, very caring, honest, kind, truthful, all of those wonderful qualities. Okay. Um, but it's also someone that takes the lead. So this person could certainly communicate with you. All right. Um, but this can also be, yes, certainly a mature kind of love that's coming in. Okay. Um, the King of Cups is uh, sometimes gets a little bit carried away with their emotions. Okay. But uh, is ultimately really kind of a very positive person there. Okay. But it can also just represent that there's mature love coming in here for you. It may be a fellow water sign. Okay. Maybe, a, uh, maybe a fire sign. All right. But whatever that is for you, it is certainly very, very positive. Some of you have more than one connection coming in here okay you might have some choices to make all right and uh you know that's that high priestess energy trusting your intuition huh what choice should i make i'm not sure all right we're curious let's put the feelers out there so certainly is some things opening up for you guys all right let's get some and more information about what your what may challenge you a little bit in the month ahead Okay, and just because we've got a challenge coming in doesn't mean it's insurmountable. Doesn't mean you can't get past it or navigate around it. Okay, it's just something that it's like, oh man, I got a little pothole, pothole on the road of life. So let's see. Three of Cups, Five of Wands, and the Nine of Wands. Okay, so part of your challenge may be getting out in the open. All right, the Three of Cups is an energy of celebration, of joy, but it's also a social card, right? It's all about your friends going out and having fun, um, you know, just in, enjoying life, okay? So part of your challenge may be getting yourself out there a little bit, okay? Um, part of your challenge here as well, okay, maybe that there's a lot of competition. The Five of Wands can certainly represent a lot of competition, a lot of people out there, especially if you're online dating and... Maybe that's part of the new things that you're going to try. It's like, I'm going to try one new thing this month. What am I going to do? I'm going to put myself out there to online dating. Eh, you know, uh, it works for some people. It does not work for others. And it does require a lot of effort. Okay, the five of the five of wands. Yes, there's a lot of competition. Okay, but it also requires a lot of effort. Okay, and sometimes when we put in the effort, we can actually find what we're looking for. But sometimes we give up a little bit. Okay, so part of your challenge may be that there's a lot of competitive competitive activity out there and also of course to get out of your shell as well all right and uh, so it's not always easy but also with that moon card there okay there could certainly be something that you need to let go of here perhaps you need to let go of some expectations okay um, you know or you know even the challenge is following through but also part of the challenge there could be opening up and keeping a positive mindset and a positive perspective. The nine of wands is certainly an energy of being done. Okay. Um, being done, 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 more than done. Uh, the moon energy, of course, is all about cycles. Okay. So completing a cycle and you're certainly done with your past. The challenge here is to let it, letting things go. Okay, um, because the nine of wands, right, we've got some boundaries there, but we got to be really careful that, you know, boundaries are healthy. Okay, uh, the boundaries, boundaries that we put up in our life are necessary, a necessary part of life. And, you know, but there's a difference between boundaries and a wall. So we want to make sure that we have enough of a boundary to know what we want. 
okay, and know what we don't want, okay, and to put up kind of that little bit of line in the sand. But we need to make sure that we're open enough to allow some good experiences in and to allow those new connections. All right, so another challenge here with the Nine of Wands uh, is certainly your energy. Okay, um, perhaps the Five of Wands is also about energy. Okay, um, and so, you know, we do have this very intense uh, Scorpio energy at the, at the middle of the month. Okay. And even though cancer, your, uh, you know, your sign is usually very much at home with the moon energies. It may be very, very intense. You might be tired and drained. The nine of wands is a very tired and drained energy. So once again, that retreat energy there, you may need to go somewhere and just charge your batteries for a couple of days. Okay. Um, uh, I, I personally am one of those people. I love the moon. Uh, I love, I love eclipses too. I grew up with my dad's a amateur astronomer and uh, among other things, he's a very talented dude. Um, but he, um, we grew up watching all the eclipses, every single one, uh, cause he also had the big giant telescope in the backyard. Um, so I'm one of those people. I love the moon and I love the eclipse energies. However, I've got, a, I've got friends who nine of, uh, nine of wands energy when this, when this full moon comes out, when this eclipse comes out, they're not coming out. Okay. They're hiding in their house and you know, with all of their, all of their crystals and all of these things and just kind of being like, okay, let me know when it's over and they're not embracing it at all. Okay. So you might be feeling a little bit tired and drained with some of these, uh, some of these big energies that are here in the month ahead. So just, um, uh, just remember there to, uh, ground yourself, ground your energy, perhaps crystals work for you. Um, but also maybe just get some rest as well. Okay. Uh, nothing, nothing wrong with that. Everyone, everyone reacts to that energy just a little bit different. Okay. So remember to recharge your batteries there as well. All right. So let's see what other advice that we get coming up here from spirit temperance, knight of cups, two of swords. Okay. So the temperance energy here is the Sagittarian energy, some kind of some fire energy coming in here for you. But the temperance, uh, the temperance card here is, um, really a reminder, um, from spirit, everything in moderation. You do not have to do everything all in one day, one day at a time. Easy does it. Okay. When we take a moderate balanced approach at things, we move at a better pace. Okay. So sometimes we get impatient, all right? The temperance energy brings in um, some calming, some balance, some healing. Okay. Remember there's some healing coming in here as well, but it also brings in this very calm, patient kind of energy here as well. So have patience, have faith. Okay. And remember you are guided and protected at all times in your journey. Okay. The temperance, uh, temperance card for me usually comes out when as a reminder, okay, that spirits, angels, guides, past loved ones, all beings of the light, we're getting all this wonderful guidance along our journey. They're there to help support and protect. Okay. So remember if you're engaging in meditation or if this moon energy is kind of oh, having you feel really out of sorts, Okay, remember that your angel spirits guides are always there to help you along your journey. So some meditation to connect with them may actually really benefit you. Okay, but remember, this is also a time of healing for you as well. Okay, uh, even as intense as this energy is throughout the month, it is a time to heal, to release, to let go. Okay, so uh, so that temperance energy is really very positive. And uh, remember to put yourself out there. Okay, advice from spirit, the, the Knight of Cups here is to go out, go out, put yourself out there, be open, go on a quest, go on a journey to find what you're looking for. Sometimes you need to try new things. You need to experience different environments. All right, but the Knight of Cups, the Knights always go on a quest, on a journey. They always have a vision in mind. Okay, they always know what they want here. Okay, they know where they're headed. Okay, and even if they don't know exactly um, what they're going to, what they're going to um, encounter on the journey. They're just excited to be there, okay? So remember to put yourself out there a little bit. Open your heart. Be receptive, okay? But the Knight of Cups can also uh, represent, um, oh, and Spirit wants to remind me here that uh, with the Knight of Cups, you're in charge, okay? You're in charge. You can say when. You can say when not, okay? You are in. You are the lead player in your own story, okay? So remember, if you're ready, get out there. If you're not quite ready, retreat a little bit. Okay, take a step back, do a little bit of healing, do a little bit of introspection, figure out what you want, and then put yourself out there again. 
Spirit also reminds to remind you that love is the highest vibration of all and everybody deserves the love. All right. And, you know, love comes in many forms from many different people. Okay. So, you know, when we're open and when we are just in this high vibe receiving mode, we're putting ourselves out there, we're getting some great things back, the magic starts to happen. Okay. But we need to remember to be open. Okay. Two of swords. Does that look like an open energy? Uh-uh. Not at all, okay? So remember to let your guard down a little bit, okay? Remember, we've got to be a little bit open, okay? Open to different people, different experiences. Put yourself out there and try something new. But the Two of Swords is also um, uh, is also an, a piece of advice here to make a decision, to know what you want. Sometimes we put our uh, put our foot, our foot out there a little bit to kind of test the waters and then it's like, ooh, nope, and then we retreat right back. And when we have a little bit of back and forth energy or we have indecision, uh, we create blocks, okay? Um, we create blocks because the universe is like, okay, dude, I don't know, I got some great things lined up for you here. Are you ready or not? Okay, um, sometimes great things happen when we least expect it as well. But, you know, but if we're undecided, right, we don't want to create any blocks or anything like that. So if you're looking for love, go find love or at least make yourself available for love to come to you at the same time. Okay. But you do need to decide if that is what you want. Okay. Now spirit also says that you may have some decisions to make through the month as well. All right. Yes. Deciding that you want love, you're going to put yourself out there, all these things, but you may have more than one opportunity, more than one door opening up for you. And when we get the two of swords, Okay, this is a reminder that not everything is black and white. Sometimes we just need to get out there and test the waters a little bit. Maybe give someone more than one chance. Okay, maybe give someone a second chance. All right, um, but this is also one where you trust your intuition to make the right choice for you. Let's see what other blessings are headed your way for the month. Ooh, that's a lot of blessings. We are not taking all of those. Thank you very much. All right, let's have a look. Six of Cups, something from the past. Ten of Wands, and we have the Moon card coming out a second time. So these Moon cycles are very, very important for you. Maybe a little bit of a challenge, but ultimately are a blessing for you. Okay, something's coming out in the open, some surprise, some revelation, some clarity. Okay, maybe even some dreams coming true for you in the month ahead, but also these facing your fears, letting things go, and moving forward. We've got the World card at the bottom of the deck. Okay, you're about to embrace, embark on a new journey, a new cycle of life. Okay, you're ready to leave the past behind and embrace the future. You've come so far. You've got done a lot of work. You've done a lot of healing. Okay, you may still have some left to do here in the month ahead, but ultimately you will be successful. You will prevail. And this opens all of these doors for you um, for exciting new adventures, exciting new connections. All right, we do have the Six of Cups coming out here also is a blessing okay so number one the six of cups it brings in an energy of living in the moment living in the here and now connecting with your inner child getting out having fun and enjoying all that life has to offer the six of cups is also a card of nostalgia and so this could certainly bring in the energy here where you're reflecting on the past, where you've been, how far you've come and you're uh, making decisions today for the future, okay, um, because you've had these past experiences. So perhaps we've learned something along the way, what you want, what you don't want, what you're willing to accept, what you're not willing to accept. All right, but the Six of Cups can also be a return card, okay? So it is. it can certainly represent the past. So for some of you, you are certainly with these three right here, okay? And of course, plus the Hanged Man there, you are releasing any past energy that is so that it can no longer have an influence in your future, okay? You're surrendering, uh, you're letting things go with that Hanged Man, Six of Cups, something from the past, Ten of Wands, it's been a, bi a big burden on on you okay physically energetically emotionally and you are done you are letting it go and you are certainly seeing things in a different way and you are uh, facing your fears and moving forward okay so certainly something may come to light um, for you you might be feeling a lot of emotions okay but the ten of wands the blessing for you is relief a sense of relief, okay, that you're you're got all these doors opening for you. You're releasing blocks. You're embracing the future. 
And again, end of a cycle, end of a cycle, right? The moon cards represent cycles, okay? So whenever we have a shift in cycle, I mean, we do have the sun and two moons. Hello, okay? Full moon, new moon, eclipse, shall we say more? Okay. Um, so, uh, um, but it, you know, it's, it does represent these cycles in our lives, right? So it's like you're at the end of a cycle and you're starting a new one. And whenever we do have the shift in cycles, especially with the eclipse energy, things get a little bit chaotic. Okay. Things get chaotic. Things happen really fast. Okay. And we start to feel all of these emotions. So embrace those because the moon can also represent, of course, your intuition, as we said before. So again, your intuition is at an all time high through the month ahead. Okay, so embrace it, listen to it, your dreams, okay, the the, ben, uh, the blessings headed your way, perhaps you're either following your dreams, okay, or you're seeing your dreams clearly, okay, what are you imagining, what are you thinking of, because you can certainly uh, turn this into your reality. But also, the moon brings out some creativity for you as well, all right? You very well may have your dreams coming true, okay? Or at least you can see your way forward clearly. So beautiful, be powerful energy for you uh, here, Cancer, through the month ahead, like crazy powerful for you. So let's see. Let's get a couple more cards here, and let's see what else that we've got for you. Messages for cancer, please. New love, please. Woo, thank you for cancer. Thank you very much. Uh, and I'm just going to, at the same time while I'm shuffling, I'm going to get these last ones as well. These are power of surrender cards. So we'll see what does cancer need to surrender in the month ahead. Thank you. There's one. What else does cancer need to surrender, please? And there's two. Let's start with these ones here. Oh, beautiful. Oh my goodness, Cancer, this is awesome. It's like your dreams coming true. Come to the edge, get ready, get prepared because there's something exciting. Those doors are opening up for you. Change is coming up for you. Okay, new love, new connections, new adventures, new everything all coming in. Get ready, okay? Come to the edges, get ready. Very reminiscent of the Fool card, right? You may have to jump in with both feet. You need to, may need to face your fears, leave your past behind you and just take that leap into the future certainly something very exciting for you treasure island coming in here too this is a time of abundance for you a lot of doors opening for you the treasure island hidden treasure buried treasure discovered treasure all of these things okay is such wonderful energy all these wonderful possibilities flowing into your life we gotta love that okay uh gotta love that all right let's see what else we've got for you what do we need to surrender surrender low self-esteem hmm hello all right you deserve success love and abundance Set an intention to identify and release any remnants of low self-esteem. Okay, very important message for some of you there. And last but not least, surrender to your intuition. Hello, we have had this message, your intuition, very much at an all-time high, right? Surrender to your intuition. Tune into your inner voice. Be aware of any gut feelings, flashes, knowings, or aha moments that come through to guide you. Hello, Mr. Hanged Man, High Priestess Moon Energies, okay? So you may get that big epiphany that you've been looking for, okay, or maybe that you weren't even looking for. All right, so pay attention to your intuition. I'm going to leave that there for you, Cancer. I hope there was something here that resonated with you in some way. Uh, if there was, please don't forget to hit like on this video if you enjoyed this reading. Also, subscribe to my channel and... Um, I hope you guys have a fantastic May. I hope to see you here on my channel again, hopefully over in the love readings, but we can continue to move forward. All right. So thank you for watching. Have a great month. I'll see you next time. Bye.